Hello, so we are going to explain today the nested loop. The nested loop is the for loop and inside we will find another for loop and so on. In an easy way, I want to print this out. I want to print, uh, imagine for example, cinema and you have many holes and many movies. So I want to print every movie with every hole and every uh, seat in this hole. So imagine for uh, two movies, Batman and Fast and Furious, and every movie has three holes, and every hole has, for example, five seats. So if I have a machine and I want to print all of these tickets, I want to print this out. So let's think uh, first what we're going to use. To print out the movies, I can use easily the for loop. But to print out the holes of every single movie, I can't really imagine a way easier than this way. To use the for loop inside another for loop. So let's begin with the output and see uh, what we have. We have here the first one, the first movie and the first hole and five tickets so ticket number one of of hole number one and so on hole number two ticket number one of hole number two of batman's movie and hole number three and so on then the second movie and we have three holes hole number one five tickets five seats and number two and number three so I recommend to pause the video and think first what you you're gonna do and then continue. So the first step is to print out the two movies. I will uh, start with this, a for loop. And to initialize the for loop, I will begin with one and the i is less than or equal to i++. For the first loop, it will print out the one as we state here. So if I equal equal one, print this out, the first movie. And we have here two strings, first movie equal Batman and second movie equal Fast and Furious. And we have the function, we give it the two uh, variables. And here we print out the first movie and for the else, we print out the second move. So imagine what we will have as output for only this one, only this code. We will print out the first movie, which is Batman. And in the second loop, because in the first loop, he will not enter this area uh, in the else. In the second loop, the machine will enter directly in the else not the f because in the second loop the i will be um, the i will equal to uh, two so it will print out the second uh, movie let's see if we hit the button what we'll have right there so we'll have batman as the first movie and then this line and for the second loop in the else we'll have fast and furious and this line so i want to print now the holes the three holes of every movie what we have to do we have to write the code in some way we have to write a code somehow to print three holes in every movie we have here two loops loop number one and loop number two so i want to add here a for loop to print three holes i recommend to pause the video and try this out before uh, you continue uh, my recommended code is another for loop and we will initialize with another character uh, I use, for example, the L, so uh, the L is equal to 1, and then less than or equal 3, L++, and print the whole number L, so 
what we'll have as output is like this and here is the output Batman the whole number one two and three so let's see together why we have this output so for the first for loop he the code enter from here if the if is equal equal one so he printed this out as we see here so Batman and this line then he will not enter this area for the else he will continue to the other lines of code which is the other for loop he will enter the for loop and he will do the three loops as this as the l is from one to three and then he will continue the other for loop let's see together so he will find the l is equal to one so the whole number one and then he will print an empty line like this and here is the empty line then the other for loop is uh, the L is equal to 2 and the whole number 2 and empty line and the whole number 3. When he finishes the three loops, he will enter again to the, the main for loop. He will find that L, the i is equal to 2. So if the i is equal to 1, he will not enter this area. And instead, he will enter here. So he prints the second movie, which is Fast and Furious, as we stated this before. And he will print this line, then the three loops. So we have now the Batman movie, the holes, the three holes of Batman movie, and the Fast and Furious, and the three holes. I want to print out the tickets for every hole five tickets so put the video think about it and return again and welcome again let's focus here is a complicated part <laughs> not really complicated let's see it together i added here uh, a for loop with a k as initializer and then the k will be from one to five so five loops the ticket number one of whole number l which is one for example of whatever and then two three four and so on until he reach the five so let's understand it together the code will begin from here so it will be the first the whole number one and then he will print out the empty uh, the empty line and then he will not repeat the second loop because we add here another loop so he will read this out so he will print out the whole number one and the empty line was here and he will print this line after the ticket number one of whole number one of whatever and then two three four five and then he will return again to whole number two and the text number one of whole number two let's see let's see that the output together here we are so the whole number one so the ticket number one of whole number one of whatever and two three four five here is the first loop so until he finished this he will return again to the, the, the for loop this one and the value of L will be two so the whole number two like this one the ticket number one of whole number l which is whole number two of whatever so he will add the five loops and he will return again to reach the um, third loop with the whole number three 
and so on. Until he finishes the three holes, he will print this out and he will return again to the main for loop to print what? To print the second movie, the second state. So he will not enter this part if he will enter the else part. And then he will print the second movie, the first hall and five tickets, second hall as five tickets, third hall and five tickets. And he will return again, he will find that nothing to, to print and he will execute. So, like this we have all that we need. I want to add a bonus, uh, a bonus thing. So, I want to make this name of the movie as dynamic. So, imagine how we can do this. So, pause the video and return again. Welcome back to the final part and the bonus part. I want to make this name dynamic. Why? Because if I want to uh, print the movie of these holes, I want to print Batman movie. And for this part, I want to make, to make it Fast and Furious. So what I did is I add uh, a string called name of the movie, whatever, and then I assign the name of the movie, I assign the name of the film to it. If he's here in the first movie, the name of the movie will be the first movie, which is Batman. And if he's here in the else part, so the name of the movie will be the second movie, which is Fast and Furious. And then I add it here. So every loop will see the name of the movie. If it's here, it will be Batman. If it's here, it will be Fast and Furious. So like this, we finished the nested loop. If you have any questions, just add it in the comments. And see you in the next video.